in May of 2017, I bought this car for $114,000. I wanted to be financially responsible, so I paid cash for it. When I was in my 20s, I used to listen to a lot of audio CDs while I was driving in my car. One of the ones I loved was Rich Dad, Poor Dad. And one of the lessons I remember is he used to talk about all the time about not buying a depreciating asset like a car. Instead, to buy investment properties to pay for something like a car. I did that. I bought this duplex for $240,000. And between the upstairs and the downstairs, it cash flows over $1,100 a month. That's easily enough to pay me for my car. So why am I still upset about it? Because my car sits in my garage five out of every seven days. I just like driving my truck. And sure, my nieces love it when I take them for a ride or you know, my dates seem to enjoy it when I let them take it for a spin in ludicrous mode. But see, here's the thing. I've owned this Tesla now for 1,296 days. I've put 33,455 miles on it. That means if I'd invested the same 114 grand into Tesla stock the day I invested it into this Tesla, then today I would have $1,086,677. That means while my car was sitting here in my garage, it cost me $836 a day. And while I was driving it, it cost me $32.48 per mile. In 2017, Tesla sold and delivered 101,312 cars. That means there's over 100,000 people just like me that spend over $800 a day or $25,000 a month on what could have been future capital gain from Tesla stock. It makes me sick when I think about this. Not that it's bad to have nice things, it's not. But for $25,000 a month, this is how many investment properties I could have owned, even if I didn't have any renters for them. And here's how many kids I could have sent away to college. And here's how many hungry children I could have fed every single month. So I guess you can take away whatever lesson you want from this. But for me, I guess you can see now why I kind of hate my Tesla. What's up guys, this is Jimmy Rex. Hopefully you liked my video about my Tesla. It just was so funny to me that if I had bought stock in Tesla as opposed to buying the stupid car, how much money I would have today. And it was just another financial lesson that I had to learn the hard way, so I figured I'd share it. Hopefully you learned something from it. If you do like my content, if you like what I'm sharing, please hit the subscribe button. Also check out all my stuff, my blog, everything I got working on. Um, my new book, You End Up Where You're Heading, The Hidden Dangers of Living a Safe Life. It's all on my website, mrjimmyrex.com. So again, please like and subscribe and share with your friends. Thanks.